think um, we need to change. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I, I, I think I'm sometimes saying that, you know, this type of issues that we face now yeah. may be a good point. I, do, I still don't know the answer, but might be a good platform to try and call for that change. But I'm going to move on to slightly different uh, uh, subject. Uh, I'm going to move to Talal. Uh, I know you talked about um, domestic uh, debt restructuring as well. Uh, I'm sure you'd have read about the uh, recent uh, Ghana experience uh, where they just concluded the restructuring. And they come up with some features I thought I found fairly interesting. For example, they've said holders of individual holders of debt will be exempt. And uh, even the, the the organizational holders or the institutional holders, they come up with some uh, three tier type of uh, reprofiling, zero interest for the first five years, 5% 5 and 10% for the next. I mean, uh, what are initial thoughts about? Uh, I found particularly the exempting of individual holders uh, an interesting experiment. Your thoughts? Right. Uh, so, uh, discussing about uh, domestic restructuring, uh, as I mentioned, even uh, in Zambia, the IMF has, uh, sorry, I'm a bit losing my voice, has uh, advised that uh, it's not a good idea. So, uh, so here, uh, the issue is I was uh, last week speaking to a few economists, which included uh, Mr. Kumaraswamy, and uh, they are the, here the issue is that uh, with domestic uh, debt restructuring, it's going to be a disaster, but at the same time, when compared to Zambia or others, we have a much higher percentage of interest going into domestic. So as uh, you know, Nishan Dimel and Advocata were saying, maybe it's like we can get the bondholders or the bilaterals to say, let's exempt domestic debt restructuring. But if we don't do it, can the government continue to sustain itself? So that's a bigger question before we go into more of the details. But at the same time, it's also, I feel like uh, the domestic uh, debt restructuring would not be, uh, because people have already suffered, because they've already taken a haircut with uh, inflation. <laughs> so here again, uh, it's, a, it's a sort of a different story. So I had this uh, opportunity to speak to some of the lawyers of the bondholders. And what they are saying is like, they don't mind much. But most of the thing problem comes with the bilaterals, especially China is, would be the issue. So here again, I think it's uh, it's a bit of a challenge, a very difficult uh, line to tread. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're all waiting to see where, where it 